Recently, I organized a work organized a workshop where um, there were two more co-organizers, and you have to take public input as well as you have to show previous year's public input. Here in this slide, you can see uh, that um, there we have some graphs which just represents uh, how many people agree to some arguments and how many not. So now here is a tip that if you want to give a, a presentation with many uh, co-organizers and you want to share the data over the years, it's better to keep it simple. So I really like this um, data, which uh, I got from previous years. So it's only in Excel. And if you click, you can get access to the real data file. And you can go here and then um, you can really uh, select data and it will open. And then you have you can really select, change the Excel file and you can keep the Excel file and share later on. I think I really like this trick because now everyone is on same page. They can uh, see and share. And once you update the data, it will automatically update on this. Usually for uh, safety, I always keep the parent Excel file too. One other trick I want to share, now we have to uh, take the public input for that. I used a first time a Mentimeter and I really liked it. So I made a free account and added some questions. For example, we made four groups, uh, divided people into four groups, and then we assigned some questions onto the Mentimeter. And when you open the Mentimeter, it's a free account, uh, what I have. So I added here uh, for four groups, I had to add uh, questions for each group separately. And if you look to the statistics uh, view, so here uh, the question was added and people have responded uh, to this question. You can copy the QR code of this one and put to your PowerPoint. One uh, thing which was a little bit not nice was that QR code of this um, Mentimeter was changing every time you close and open Mentimeter. And later on, I found out that it actually works for all the QR codes it updates. So in the end, it doesn't matter. Whatever your uh, audience has added, it will work for all of them. Okay, once you have answers, uh, there are a few tricks. Once you make a presentation, you will immediately understand. And then once you have answers, you can just go here and present it. So I di uh, directly use Mentimeter to show the results to audience. So you see first this comes and later on, as people add the question, it immediately starts to update, which was very nice. So there were still a few issues, for example, uh, some questions I added um, uh, there, they, it was nice that you can see how many people respond to this question, depending on which format you select for question, but there were few questions for which I uh, chose a different format. Uh, let me see if I find it, for example, here. And here, I um, it was very difficult to show how many people answer to this question, how many agree for that. In I think one has to use a better format or copy the question in two different formats. But overall, I really liked Mentimeter. Uh, there was another uh, option, uh, poll everywhere, but I was not able to get along with that one. So it's a suggestion you can check which one works for you, but this uh, online um, available platforms are sometimes really nice because people can immediately see how many people are responding and what the statistics looks like.